Pokemon meme review. Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokefans. Now watch the mission in the next episode. Pie. Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of Ask Pit Pie. At some point in the past, I asked you, my ongoing series where I react to submissions on my subreddit, r slash mnjtv, and since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon Meme Review. All right, here we go, sorted by top in the past month, and the top post is, I'm working on a pair of fan games that take you through the India-inspired Kyoru region. Just so happens that almost everything Mikey wants in Gen 9 is planned for Pokemon Cloud and Soil. Ooh. Morchid Flam and Pinifent. Those are pretty cute. Ooh. Lifezond. Flairies. Okay, that thing's adorable. Boltfint. What are electric? Interesting. We got a Flamingo Pokemon. That's nice to see. War Wasp. Terrifying. Chalky Garu. Okay. Hey, a Fire Grass type. Oh, and it's like a Pepper Lizard. That's sick. Gemray and Maligna Ray. Those are pretty cool. See through. <laughs> and Invisibile. <laughs> Oh, very good. Kabdua, Tempdua, Fire and Ice. Will Kinyon, Quintagila. Ooh, Quintagila is very cool. Hey, an Arbok form. And it becomes a dragon. A Steel Eevee, interesting. Just so happens almost everything Mikey wants. Well, what I want is no more Miltech. So you lied to me. Hey, a new Mighty Yenna form. Ooh, an aquatic sand dial. <laughs> I love that idea. It's like, you know this crocodile in this place it's normally not? the desert. What if we just took that desert crocodile and put it back where it's supposed to be? Oh, cool pyroar forms. Nice, I'll give you an upvote. That's some really good art. In another universe where Zubat is rare, finally, a bat. <laughs> How did these get me so easily? <laughs> Show me the real firefighting starter. I said the real firefighting starter, perfection. <laughs> I don't play Unite, but I do like the outfits. Okay, tip, there's only one Master Ball in Pokemon, use it wisely. I suggest using it on a Pokemon you want to add to your team, but are hard to catch, like a Fero or Tentacruel. Hello, 911, I would like to report a crime. My boss finds out about this, first I'll be fired, then my wife will divorce me. Are you battling on company time? Or did your boss only hire people? who are good at battles? And also you lost to the champion of the entire region, you're fine. Laptops? <laughs> Nice. Some more shenanigans with the mons I'm forced to live with. He keeps trying to possess my fridge. Just the <laughs> the grip on the Rotom. Keeps getting into the jam. Oh, he loves the pirate ship. Well, that's just, I have that, I have that, that ship. I have that pirate ship. I would not want the Joltik to mess it up. My friend is dating a guy named Blaine, like the fire gym leader. I accidentally called him Blaze, which was her ex's name. And she got really mad at me as if it's my fault that she exclusively dates guys who sound like Pokemon gym trainers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Blaine literally is a gym leader. Blaze? Is there a Blaze in Pokemon? There is. He's a magma admin, but only in the manga. Started as a Kindler. So another fire type. Something or other. Battery lasted for days, had better reception. And if it fell on the floor, it broke the floor. It needs to be charged every day. Bad reception. It's literally glass. This is a dumb take. <laughs> I mean, it's also a meme, but like, can your Nokia do games or apps? Can be used outside of battle, catches the gods of time and space first try, easy to craft for free, can only be used while battling, even Zubats break out of it, costs money. <laughs> dolphins in media, dolphins in real life, sharks in media, sharks in real life. I mean, dolphins and sharks both kill things. So I feel like sharks in real life would also be shiny Gigantamax Charizard. Person, no, ooh. <laughs> Person named Karen, the strong Pokemon weak Pokemon quote, actual Karen. <laughs> I lost it. I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the Karen, who we would let speak to our manager, is not actually a Karen. Claire is a Karen. Frankly, their names could have been swapped. Also, I'm realizing they look like they could be like sisters, but I do prefer Karen because she's not a Karen. Togepi running away from you after you take one step. Yeah, the most stressful Pokemon to try and catch are the ones that flee. No, the most stressful Pokemon to catch are the ones that flee and are in the water because you can't sneak up on them. You got Snom? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's just huge. <laughs> Gen 9 starters in a nutshell. Why is the kitten on the bottom X'd out? No apple snake, no pepper crocodile. Yes, yeah, and then those are just Birds wearing pirate hats. What is happening? Full reliable over leveled starter. <laughs> That's fair. My first ever Pokemon playthrough was mostly a solo run until I got Groudon. Gonna prank my bro when he gets back. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Cinderace mass outbreak.
Oh. Uh, don't do this. Mill tank fan art exists, Mikey. Emotional damage! <laughs> I love that we got an emotional damage meme. That's fun. My Pokemon, when they get hit by one mud slap, the enemy Pokemon, when my snow cloak Glaceon uses six double teams and three sand attacks while in hail. And don't get me started on paralysis. Have you ever seen an opposing Pokemon get fully paralyzed twice in a row? or hit itself in its confusion twice in a row. I don't think I've ever seen it, and yet it happens to me. Normal Komodo, Sinnoh Komodo, Japan Komodo. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's Yamaro Acapulco. Pokemon designers choosing for its size. This is brilliant, but I like this. That's not how, it's just how long it is. If no one else will say it, I will. Okay, just give Flapple feet. You can't defeat me, I know. You were defeated in battle. <laughs> the more memes I see about this, the more grateful I am that I waited so long to do that battle and ended up with a team in the 90s. <laughs> Nobody, me watching a 27 year old man have opinions on a children's game. I wonder who the 27 year old man could be. Problems that I'm gonna be covering in this video. <laughs> gotta be clear, I'm not someone who loves to hate on Pokemon. I love Pokemon and I've enjoyed every main series game that's come out since I started almost 20 years ago including <laughs> these ones it's just these criticisms don't come from a i mean thanks for watching the video to, ooh, 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 ooh is that a spicy chip is, is this all does he just keep eating he does just keep eating well i, I appreciate the watch time bald bearded man eating chips i'm 100 percent sure i did better than you on the test 100 percent sure or 99.99 percent sure fine 99.99 percent sure <laughs> you fool, you just activated my trap card. <laughs> I will never escape. Ha ha, it is I, Grunty boy, and I challenge you to a duel of the Dr. Squatch trading soap game. Wait, what? Dr. Squatch is the sponsor of this video, but they don't have a trading soap game. I made it up and you're going to play against me. That is, unless you're too scared. This is preposterous, but you're on. I summon Cool Fresh Aloe in the defense position. This allows me to level up my personal care routine, boosting my scent and confidence stats dramatically, and equipping me with the smell like a champion buff. Then I'll counter by summoning Pine Tar in attack position. With its natural ingredients and no harsh chemicals or synthetics, its power to clean you cleanly is unmatched. Curse you, fine. It's time I end this. I summon Fresh Falls in the attack position. It's my personal favorite right now, which means it amplifies my smell like a champion buff. That allows me to make another play in the same turn. So I summon the shampoo, conditioner, and deodorant combo. That's three things. It's not against the rules. I know because I made the rules. This completes the personal care routine combo, which adds the clean and confident boost and the 100% satisfaction guaranteed perk. With that and my other buffs, that means Fresh Falls can attack your life points directly. Yeah! <laughs> what? But how? You fool. Anyone who uses Dr. Squatch already has all those buffs, which means your attack didn't damage me, only strengthened me. Now with all of my accumulated boosts, I can finish this with my signature move. New customers can get 20% off orders of $20 or more by using code DSQMJTV at the link in the description below! No, not saving money! I only know how to steal! Hey buddy, you good? Yep, that was fun. Let's play again sometime. Ta-ta! Elisa, ignoring Team Plasma. That would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do. Kanto gym leaders when Team Rocket took over Saffron. Yeah. But to be fair, back then, they didn't have cell phones. I mean, you are the Kuno, that Doth, and Maltrace. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, this is an interesting lore idea that the Galarian forms came from Shadow Lugia, but they definitely didn't, because Shadow Lugia turns regular once you purify it. But I will say I'm very much enjoying Moltres's face. <laughs> ah! <laughs> they were ducklets ahead of their times. Uh, but you'll see, our boy Quaxley will not just turn into a swan. I don't know if I want it to become very humanoid. We've gotten a lot of those. But if it were to become humanoid, it could become a really cool pirate. Oh, this, this is clever. <laughs> the odds of winning the lottery in my country are one in 5.4 million. Me, a pre-gen six shiny hunter. 
I like those odds. I like shiny hunting in Legends Arceus because it's not hard. Average Nuzlocke enjoyer? Average mental health enjoyer? <laughs> because apparently they're mutually exclusive. <laughs> I mean, they are for me. I don't enjoy Nuzlocke's because I enjoy my mental health being good. Pokemon protagonist's father after his son beats up a bunch of animals and becomes a millionaire. I'm back, I'm back. No. When has the protagonist's father ever come back? Aside from Norman, who was present from the beginning. Hello, Typhlosion from Hisui. What's up, bug from Pokemon Go? <laughs> uh, nice. Pokemon normal shiny, Gengar shiny. Oh yeah, Regice shiny, Garchomp shiny. Lots of, lots of options. I don't think it will get a regional form. It already has a mega. Oh, I for real forget that Slowbro has a mega. How do I keep forgetting that it has a mega? I mean, a mega doesn't preclude something from it completely. You know, cause they did give Gengar a Gigantamax despite already having a mega. But most that get new forms haven't gotten anything else like a Mega or a Gigantamax. Someone hates on cast form. Mikey, I will send you to Jesus. <laughs> I will. If you're a part of this community, we say Yaveltal. It's not 100% accurate, it's 50% accurate. We are members of Team Sky. We don't like Miltank. When it comes to cast form, we say hail yeah, and we subscribe to MNJTV and also MNJTV Plays. Are you aware that I have another channel where I'm making what I believe to be some of the best content that I've ever made? Uh, you should subscribe to that channel because I feel like a lot of you watch videos on that channel and then don't subscribe to it. So what are you doing? Me in karate class? hi yeah. <laughs> I lost my brain cells after finding out the age of these characters. Yeah, I know Cyrus is 27. I've never fully understood that. I mean, he looks old. Jesse and James being 15, that is nonsense. But Lusamine being 40, like that makes sense. Like she has two preteen slash teen children. And there, there's like that whole exchange in the game where Hal's like, you're not that much older than us. And she's like, oh, I'm over 40. And he's like shocked. Like she, it, it's made clear that she looks young, which makes sense because she's like excessively obsessed with the concept of beauty. She probably has a stellar skincare routine. Oh God, we want Sprigatito's final evolution to remain on four legs. Say no more. <laughs> ah! Magikarp is a fish. <laughs> Six year old me going to the league after avoiding most of the trainers in the game. <laughs> we got a Blastoise and then the Lapras Pidgey. Yeah, the early route. <laughs> Coincidence, I think not the evolution of Markiplier. Well, now we need a Megastoraptor where the hair is down like this. <laughs> The floor tentacles will consume you. Oh, that's dope. You took a ridiculous, silly joke and made some badass fan art. Amazing. Polygons with Porygon. Hello everyone, today we are learning about our polygons. Five corners, Pentagon. Eight corners, Octagon. We're out in a corner, Flygon. Oh, no. I think Kanto is my favorite region, everyone. Wouldn't that make you a Gen 1 -er? Hard to disagree with you on that. Paris before Legends Arcus. I'm too weak. Unlimited power! <laughs> I mean, it's still weak. It's just unjustifiably aggressive. Relax, Mikey, the new fire grass Pokemon just got linked. It's just a dump with a face. Execute order Machop. Execute order 66. Because uh, Machop's number. All right. Professor Laventon, I want to have a registration of all the Pokemon in Hisui, but I'm too bad at catching them. Mysterious kid who can catch Pokemon surprisingly well. Falls from the sky and completes the Pokedex within a week. Professor Laventon, confused stonks. Yeah, you can accomplish that task very quickly, but also it wouldn't be a week if you went by in-game days. I'm wondering how long it would take you to complete the Pokedex in regards to in-game days, because I'm sure that would equal to multiple months. Build your dream Pokemon game collection. You have $20. So immediately Legends Arceus has to be purchased. That is like, might be the best Pokemon game ever made. So that has to be a purchase. Why is Pokemon Quest $3? That's $5 right there. Um, I'm gonna go $3 for XD. I know it's not very popular, but I've got a lot of nostalgic attachment to it. Is Ruby and Sapphire not even on here? I guess they only include one game per region. No, there's Platinum and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. But then you've got Let's Go Eevee and who made this? <laughs> Fine, whatever, I'll just play by their rules. I mean, a dollar for new Pokemon Snap is a steal. That game is super fun. I guess I'll spend four on Omega Ruby. That gets me to $13. We'll go three for Platinum. It's the best version of Sinnoh. 
And I have four dollars left. Four dollars left, I'll just get Sword and Shield. It's not perfect, but like it is still a lot of fun. The raids are fun, the DLC is fun. So that ends up being Legends Arceus, Gale of Darkness, Snap, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Platinum, and Sword and Shield. Zygarde after being brought down to half health. Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> Ooh, this art by Trainer Mats is pretty cool. I dig the cat. That is awesome. That is also awesome. Oh my God, he looks simply deranged and I'm a big fan. That I have, it's like kind of cool. I'd need to see how it fights. Those wings are so large though. So large and majestic. I'm assuming Michael playing BDSP, Elite Four and Cynthia. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Cynthia's basically like, keep your non-competitive Pokemon out my effing league. Lamp it outside a hospital. People who don't know, people who know. That's gotta be, it's gotta do something about something or other. The spirits, it absorbs fuel. It's baleful fire. It hangs around hospitals waiting for people to pass on. Yet yeah, ghost Pokemon need to chill. Man's making an infinity gauntlet of Pokemon gimmicks. I love that they did this though. I, I think Journeys deserves a lot of praise for being so cross-generational and bringing so many characters back. Empoleon is having parenting problems. Um, tell mom to take us to Disneyland. Disney. No way he's going to Disneyland. I just said if a guy high grades, we'd go. Yeah, you said that, mom. Take us to Disneyland. Disney. Disneyland. <laughs> How did I let that ditto sedo? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, I was not ready for that ending. <laughs> wow. Me using counter plus focus sash. Call the ambulance, but not for me. Yeah, but then you use up the focus sash. The last letter of all these will reveal a secret. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is send nudes. Gumshoes, S, Raichu, S U B S, sub, subs, M R I B E. Oh no, I am C. Oh, it's oh, it's subscribe. I'm stupid. <laughs> I was like, they wrote subs maribe. What is? <laughs> yes, I mean they're right. You should subscribe. Ashes Pokemon when they start losing the battle. F it evolution time. It'd be so sick if evolutions could occur mid battle in the main series games. Pokemon metronome battles. Random BS go. <laughs> Fans are waiting for Pokemon Legends Akus DLC, but nothing happened. Well, I mean, nothing's happened yet, but the game's only been out for like two months. Sword and Shield DLC, I believe was announced. It was announced on January 9th, 2020 during a Pokemon Direct. Oh, so less than two months after, hmm, I see. Well, I still think it's possible. The Sword and Shield DLC made a lot of sense because it kind of helped bridge the gap between Sword and Shield's release and the next mainline game, which was Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, which was two years later. However, there's only one year between Legends Arceus and Scarlet and Violet, and therefore, I, there's not as much of a gap bridging needed. Yeah, that is kind of weird. I've, if Are they gonna do it? Would they do it this year before? I mean, they could always do it next year, but they could also want to do Scarlet and Violet expansion passes. You can't eat me. I can. <laughs> who are you? I'm Ray. Ray who? Ray Quaza. <laughs> that movie was so bad. <laughs> the entire Hatterene line be like, I had. And what I have to do, I have the strength to do it. <laughs> Oh, this is one of the best ones. When I use my mom's phone, brightness, volume, font size, notifications. Day 33, they still suspect nothing. Surprised they don't suspect anything because there are seven Pokemon in this picture. Oh, well, we'll miss you. <laughs> Put my dog in the trampoline for 0.3 seconds. She became an electric type Pokemon. <laughs> it's a Jolteon. We want Legends Arceus to be like Breath of the Wild. Say no more. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even think about that. My best friend is a godlike dog. My best friend is an edgelord meme. <laughs> Unova dark type elite four, Johto ghost gym leader, Alola fighting type Kahuna. Oh, that is interesting. I think the most noticeable ones are the Hala connection is interesting. They both have the top ponytail, which is, and the, the scarf on Morty is, huh, that's pretty cool. Bipedal starters are bad. No, it's not just bipedal starters are bad. It's turning four-legged starters, bipedal and humanoid, 
when they would look better if they remained on four legs and more like an animal. Incineroar and Embor being offending Pokemon for this trend. Decidueye started on two legs and is on two legs. Same is true for Feraligator, same is true for Blaziken and Sceptile. Torchic was a two-legged bipedal Pokemon and then it grew arms. <laughs> and it's not just all humanoid starters are bad, there are some great ones. Decidueye and Blaziken being some prominent examples of that. But it's Pokemon that don't really need to be humanoid being turned humanoid. It'd be like if Bulbasaur came out today and instead of making Venusaur, they put it on two legs and made it like a wrestler. Like that's what they did with Incineroar when they could have made a really cool tiger. I don't hate Incineroar, it's just been a trend that I and many others are eager to like, all right, you have done the human thing a while, let go back to the animals. Man, DJ TV or something. <laughs> I know it's not the best name, but at least it's not getting auto-corrected to anything else when you search it. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm not expecting Ducklet to be in the Scarlet Violet regional decks. If Wonder Trade isn't my favorite thing about Pokemon, I don't know what is. Hey, you got an Aquas Bidoof. That's, that's fun. OMG Gen 9 Leak, 100% real. Sprigatito, Lingato, Bipedal. <laughs> okay, that's pretty creative. Boycoco, Seervir, Reprex, Quaxly, Swashling, Duckaneer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I actually want that to be its name. Nomer, Omnivol, Larklet, Crestier, Hierlarchy, Nymphony, Maestroach, Picopunk, Sledgehog, Crying Up, Shardle? Shardle? <laughs> Anyone, Kanmaka, Fake Leak, nice. Filler Fodder, Waste of Space, <laughs> Peblite, Ignium, Metalith, Sedamite, Schwimp, <laughs> Labarage, Turnbine, Wind Maul, Quixaggerate, Tauros, Minotauros, Yamask, Among Rigus. Oh, I see what you're doing. Eevee and EV, that is normal, normal type. <laughs> okay, I'm amused. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon meme review thank you so much for watching with an extra special thanks to my patrons over on patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating youtube ad rates if you can help support me in the same way the link is in the description below and if you want to check out some more of my fun pokemon content i recommend these videos here all right that's all i have for now so until next time big fans gotta catch them all